I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry. Ready? All right. And so what's your name and where are you from? Dennis. I'm from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, Shenandoah County. And I'm Ron from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. And Ron? Ron's our driver today. <laughs> four of us in. That's nice. We've been climate activists for quite a while. And we have a local organization called Friends of the North Fork of the Shenandoah River, which is also big on environmental concerns. So we've been down to more than one event here. And I think if there's no more important issue than the health of the climate. So that's what Keeping in the Ground is all about. And so what do you hope to achieve with this march and rally here today at Break Free 2016 in Washington, D.C.? Focus and momentum. I've already made a couple new contacts today, and I'm sure when the videos go up, we hope it'll help the cause. We need to change a lot. A lot of politicians at the federal and the state level, don't forget the state level, who are not, haven't got the right ideas yet. So we need to keep pushing. The power comes from the people, and we must have to make the people aware of what is actually going on. And uh, it's easy to dismiss it in your daily lives, but this is something that is going to be a challenge for the rest of my generation and generations to come. That's why I'm here today. And so why specifically is keeping in the ground and stopping offshore drilling and um, you know the use of coal, why is that so important in your opinion? Because every pound of CO2 and methane that's emitted makes the situation worse. And if we're in such a situation now, this is going to be hard to keep it safe, even with a big cutback in fossil fuels. And we have the technology. Solar's growing. Wind is growing. It's out there. You just have to make sure that people understand that they can go get it, and the politicians have to get out of the way. And why are the politicians in the way? Why aren't the politicians embracing this keeping in the ground movement? Some aren't aware. Some refuse to admit there is a problem. Others are just plain let's say corrupt and they're beholden to who money follow the money and you'll notice which decisions are being made excellent thank you so much gentlemen i really